James Green, Short Serious Shenanigans. How you guys doing? All right, today's video is gonna be about uh, threading and re-threading dies. So I was doing a live feed the other night <coughs> and uh, I ran across something in the process and I thought, okay, this is a good explanation to, or it's a good chance to give an explanation between threading and re-threading dies. Now, there is a common misconception that, let me get another one out here. Okay, that just because it's a hex die, it's a re-threading die. Okay, that is incorrect. Case in point, I have an old Sears Craftsman uh, tap and die set. Okay, and you can see here, I'm going to try to get the camera to focus in on it, and you can see, all right, that's a 12 mil. Now, it says start from this side. Okay. If you look at the grooves in the, or the, uh, the thread cutting area in there, see how it has a ramp in? Okay, so think of it like you have a roughing, which is the beginning. You have that taper in on all those, okay? So it's like a roughing cut, and then you have your final cut on the back. So that's a cutting die. Pardon me, I got the cat hair all over my nose. So just recently had a customer with some issues, or not issues, want, wanting to... Uh, make some parts. He gave me the die. I glanced at it. I didn't say anything because I knew it was a re-threading die. Now, in oddball instances, on certain material, it will cut. If it doesn't, it will actually, and yes, it was started straight and everything was aligned. If you try to cut and you can see it just dove in and then it didn't cut on the back. I wanted to save that to show people. Plus, I wanted to be able to let the customer watch the video and see. So, we were trying to cut a 24 by 2.0. Now, if you look at this die, uh, it actually does have some ramp ends on both sides. Very, very minute. But, they are all the same. It is a re-threading die. If you look at and it's hard to see on this small one here, but it is really, really, really cut back on the ramp angle. Okay, I'll try to get the camera to focus because I know it doesn't like close-up shots. Okay, now I'm going to use some taps to explain this better. Okay, <clears throat> so this is because you have a, in the three types of taps, typically you have a taper, which is really, really, you know, you have a lot of lead, especially on hard materials, you have a lot of lead in. And then you have a plug, it doesn't have as much lead in. And then you have a bottoming tap. Okay, this is a taper tap, as you can see, and you can pull up the nomenclature in, you know, Google or Wikipedia or whatever, and it'll explain more. So this is a taper tap, okay. And I, this is uh, half 13. You can see it's got a lot of lead in, okay? If you see here, and again, I'm using this to demonstrate on, a, a, you know, dies and taps. So, all right, so let's say you, this is obviously a cutting because you, it starts out very slowly and it gradually comes up to full thread depth, okay? Now, this is a bottoming, and you're bottoming meaning you're going to go on a blind hole, or you just need to chase some threads, uh, or you need to finish cutting, let's say, because this is a taper, and then the plug, you'll only have like two or three that are, have a lead in, and then you do a bottoming. So you'd have taper, which is rough, and then plug, which would be like medium, and then bottoming to get all the threads uh, if you're doing a, a blind hole, for example. Now this has like two threads, one, two threads, because you're, you're, you're obviously not going to bottom the bolt out, but you know, you've went in with your taper and your plug, and then you come in and you can see. But I'm just demonstrating that. Uh, it does have just a few kind of ground on the end. This hasn't been modified. It's still got the factory little end on it. You can see. Okay. Uh, this is actually a Greenfield tap and die. Half 13. I don't know if the camera picked that up. But I wanted to use that as a demonstration. Of, and I thought it was a good point. Because someone had commented... Uh, that someone said if it's a round die, it's a threading die. If it's a hex die, it's a re-threading die. That is incorrect. So don't go by that 
assessment. Always look at, and that's why I'm doing this, and I use the, excuse me, I use the uh, taps to explain and also tried to show you. So yes, I've actually got a an old Craftsman 1980s vintage. This is, I just grabbed one out of the drawer. This is 12 by 1.5. My set goes up to half inch. But, so, do not go under the presumption that hex is a rethreading and round is a cutting. It's not true because there are sets out there that this is an old, older set. It's the type that was set up. Now, uh, <clears throat> I don't know what other brands out there that you could have a hex cutting set, but uh, if it says start from this side and you look at it, or you can just look, and that tooth right there on the bottom is what I was talking about. That's, you could really see the, the lead in, okay? How it just really starts out, it's tapered in. So don't go by the misnomer of if it's hex, it's a rethreading. Look at it, and that's how you tell the difference between a threading or a rethreading. Again, that's why I use the, you know, showing you on, on the tap so you could see what I was talking about. Um, <clears throat> on your really, really good sets, uh, and there have been some oddball ones, if you can get them in a set of three, everyone thinks that, uh, well, it's three of the same. If, if it's a really good set, you'll see a taper, a plug, and a bottom. Those are really, really good for hard exotic materials like stainless, okay? Anytime I'm doing anything like that and I'm doing a blind hole, you know, I use Anchor Lube, the stuff's great, uh, whatever your, you know, flavor of cutting fluid is. Um, you taper, go in, then the plug, and then, you know, the bottom to go all the way through or however, whatever you're doing. But uh, I just wanted to clear that up as far as, let's see if we find any others in here. But yeah, I just wanted to take time to kind of point that out. Um, but that's how you look and know about it. And it's just a real short video to explain. If you guys have any questions, my public email address, eagledustoff37 at gmail.com. So, <clears throat> uh, gonna be doing more of these. I've got the format changed on the camera to where I can do these short 30 minute or shorter videos and get them up to you guys and gals. I appreciate it. Thanks again to all the YouTube subscribers, the new ones out there, spread the word about my channel. If you like the video, click like down at the bottom, you know, thumbs up, we appreciate it. And positive comments are always encouraged. Thanks again. Take care of yourself and take care of your family because remember, at the end of the day, you and your family is all you got. Till next time, get out in the garage, take a look at your uh, your dies and your taps so you can find out which, which are which. If you have any questions about this video, again, my public email address, eagledustoff37 at gmail.com. Catch you guys and gals later. Bye-bye.